Do not at any cost miss cases of chronic anger exposure. Anybody can diagnose an acute anger closure glaucoma that is quite dramatic in terms of signs and symptoms, but not everyone can diagnose a chronic narrow anger glaucoma. It starts from the point of history where you suspect from a family history, from symptoms and signs, and then goes to looking at the refraction of patients where hypermetropes have a higher potential for having narrow angle glaucoma. When you examine the patient, don't forget to do a Van Herrick test, which will tell you if the patient has a high potential for developing narrow angle. And if the Van Herrick is actually positive, then you have to progress into doing a formal gonioscopy. When you're doing gonioscopy, you need to know if the angle is open or closed, but you also need to know what kind of closure. Is it a positional or is it a synechial closure? For that, you need to do a dynamic gonioscopy. You have to use a four mirror lens.